We are at the bandsaw. As you can see, I installed an auxiliary fence that is one quarter inch from the blade. Our blade is a 3 8 inch wide blade with six teeth per inch. Our foam is one inch by 14 by 18. A uh, brand new sheet is two foot by two foot, I believe. You can use that if you wish. Um, the process is exactly the same. The only difference is a little length. You may want to pay attention to the grain and play with it a little bit to see which way you like the bricks cut. Now we're going to take our 14 by 1 fourth by one inch strips and cut them into one quarter by one quarter by 14 inch long strips. As you can see you can do this one at a time but it is much faster if you stack them. Make sure the device that you use to hold your strips against your fence is tall enough for your stack. Never push or hold it directly against where the blade is, always a little bit in front of the blade. You will find that in this process that they actually stay together pretty well. You kind of just pinch the back as you push forward. When you go to reach around to the back, you kind of just squeeze it a little bit to keep them together. The hardest cut is the very last one, but if you take your time and with a little practice, you will not have any problems doing this. Make sure you save all your little cutoffs. These are really nice thin strips. Be put to many uses. As you can see here, we have a nice little stack of quarter inch strips. Now let's cut our individual bricks. Right, we're going to cut our strips here. We have this all set up. There's some tapes covering all the areas that the bricks could fall into. I just have a couple clamps over here holding a couple boards for my stop blocks that shows me my disc, that give me the width of my bricks. My bricks are going to be cut three by one, meaning lengthwise equals three of them turned sideways. It's about three quarters of an inch is what it equaled out to. Um, one fourth by one fourth square on these. Um, I think this is the fastest way to do this. I'm going to show you how I cut multitudes at a time. You just got to take your time. You have to remember that this is a blade and it will slice your hand as you go forward. Okay. I may look like I'm close, but I'm always making sure that my hand's at least around in here. And you'll notice when I switch to a different position that I might even get my fingers any closer than this tape, which is at least, I, I guarantee, an inch away. So my hands are very safe at all times. I know where my spinning blade is. I'm very aware of what I'm doing. This blade will slice you. But this is the quickest way I found to do these. Especially when you're going to make 10,000 bricks. That's why I like when I slice these. I like these all the same length because so much easier to move. You can see there how they all kind of move as a group 
what I'm doing is I'm, this hand, I'm just applying a little forward pressure as I push with my other hand on the outside where the loose ends are. You have to be careful of your bricks stacking up on the side over here. They can actually get in your way of your saw. Um, sometimes you may just end up sacrificing a quarter of a brick to continue your push because when you have a hold of your stack, letting go is not a good idea. Keeping a hold of it all the way till you get to the very last cut is, is the key to this because it's the easiest way to push it, everything. If they're on even, you'll never do this. One piece will stay here, you'll end up with uneven bricks all the way through. I need one more piece over here. Just take your time. It's not a race. Doing this one by one can take a long time too. Sometimes that's fast, depending on how fast you are. Okay, here we go. Make sure you have your safety glasses on, your dust collection and everything. I'm just going to do it this way for purpose of showing you. quite a pile very quick it's quicker when you have a little device and you just swoop them off the back I'm not sure how other people done it look on a few videos but I never really looked to see how people make their bricks I leave these the longer ones just leave them because Sometimes you need that. It's great for making castles, fill that in. A little extra length, less time to lay down bricks. 